Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to look at work done. So let's get started. Now we're going to kick off the energy section by looking at work done, but there's just a few wee bullet points here to begin with. So it says that energy is needed to get jobs done or make things work. And you might remember that the units of energy are joules with a capital J, and there are different types of energy. So work done energy is the first type we're going to look at. And what is work done? Well, we say that work done describes the force applied to move an object a certain distance. So that means the equation is given as EW for work done is equal to F times D, where EW is the work done measured in joules, F is the force measured in newtons, and D is the distance measured in meters. And you get the equation in this form on the relationship sheet in the exam. And just to help you visualize this, I'll show you a quick simulation. So here we have a box which has a force F applied to it to the right, and let's say it moves through a certain distance D there. We could calculate the work done by taking the force value and multiplying it by the distance D traveled. And another way of thinking about it is that you're doing work by applying a force to move that box a certain distance. Going back to the notes now, we have two important notes down the bottom. So it says to note that if an object is moving at constant speed with balanced forces acting on it, F will be the force that is doing the work on the object, for example the thrust force. This is because the object still has to do work to overcome the frictional force, so the work done on it cannot be zero. So to put this into context for you, here is question 16 from the 2015 SQA National 5 exam paper. And to understand this question, we need to use the idea that we just saw in the notes. So this says a car of mass 1,200 kilograms is traveling along a straight level road at a constant speed of 20 meters per second. The driving force in the car is 2,500 newtons. The frictional force in the car is also 2,500 newtons. So you can see that between X and Y, the car is traveling a distance of 50 meters. So it says the work done moving the car between point X and point Y is. Well, this question was done pretty poorly by pupils in the year of this exam. And the reason is that they thought that since the frictional force was the same as the driving force, i.e. the thrust force, that the unbalanced force was zero newtons and therefore that meant that the force F in the equation for work done would be zero as well. However, we are saying that if the car is already moving to begin with and it has balanced forces acting on it, then we need to take the value of the thrust force, i.e. the 2,500 newtons here, the driving force, to be our value of F in the equation. Because the car must be doing work to overcome the frictional forces so that it can move in the first place. So instead of the answer being zero joules, which a lot of pupils wrongly thought, the way we would calculate this is EW equals F times D to get 2,500 times the 50 meters, and that should give you an answer of C in this case, 125,000 joules. And the last point in the notes is that if there are unbalanced forces acting on the object, F will be the resultant force, i.e. the unbalanced force. So if you do have two force values but they're different in size, then you do need to subtract the smaller one away from the bigger one to get the unbalanced force before you plug it into the equation EW equals F times D. And you'll see this done in question three of the worked example video for work done. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.